Hey guys, this is Glyph. I'm just going through to show you guys how to set up step by step. Um, actually, how to show how to se let me redo this. All right, how to set up Sven's Glide Wrapper for Diablo 2. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search for Sven's Glide Wrapper. Okay, we got that. The first one, make sure it's Sven'sWrapper.de slash English. Very important. You don't want to download some malware or anything like that. Some bad stuff. Go to downloads, and we want the latest version, 1.4e. So we're actually going to click that link, save the file. I've got it downloaded here, of course. Now we're going to go back, and we're going to find that file. Where is that? Right there. All right. So normally we would extract this, come on, and it would actually extract it right there. So I've actually got one set up right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to read the README. It's a very important file. We're going to actually control F that and find exactly where it's at. So it's right here. Now we have two options to install this. Uh, we can copy the file, um, the DLL file, into the Windows system directory, or we can actually copy it right into the game directory, which is actually the recommended way of doing it. Um, just creates a lot of less hassle and that sort of thing. So we're actually going to control X, then we're going to go to our directory here, open file location, now go to the very bottom, control V, there we go, it shows right up. Alright, that's all there is to that. Now we can actually run up glideinit.exe to set up our settings and maybe some custom settings that we want. For me personally, I love window mode and I love the captured mouse, uh, it keeps things a lot smoother. Uh, for FPS limit, I put 58.8 because the client itself only runs at 60 FPS, so that's really, anything higher is just no, there's no reason for it. After that we quit, go to our executable again, I should go into properties. Now you might notice you might not have this, um, so we're actually going to add this in right now. So 3D FX, we're going to hit apply, OK, and we're going to run it. Yes, we do want to run it. And you'll notice, see, if you can see my mouse moving around here, uh, it actually doesn't move out of the screen. No matter how hard I try, it just stays right in there. So it's kind of nice. So I'll actually log in here. Got our barbarian. Create a settings example. All right, now we'll go to escape options, video options, and here we are. Now, notice you may not have had uh, Gamma and Contrast as an option before, it might have all been grayed out, uh, but with this new uh, wrapper, it actually activates all those options unless you use them all. Now, if you're on HDMI or anything, this might not actually do anything. Uh, same thing with the Contrast, unfortunately, um, but for most other people, that'll work just fine. Now, you have Lighting Quality, you can actually change all that stuff, you can change your blended shadows, all that good stuff. So if I go to Slash FPS, oops. You can actually see that I actually have the FPS that we set up there. Uh, I do have a high ping, but let's ignore that. Now, the video is Glide. You'll notice that. Um, before, it was something else. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. But anyways, that's all there is to that. Um, hopefully, it helped a few of you guys out. Um, have a good one.